isn't a label to be born lightly these days. Ticket, please. This is sure to attract Thank the attention you, of the feds. Ticket. Just what you right. don't need when Ticket, you're about please. to crack the biggest riddle of our time. But don't judge me just yet. I need you to trust me. If there's one thing I've learned in my line of work, it's that things are often not as they appear. And just when you think you might have the answer, a small twist can change everything. But I've always made the most of my situation. After my last project went sour, I wanted to believe that this cipher could be my salvation. But that too wasn't quite as it appeared, and if my fortunes have changed since then, it's only been for the worse. I can't say I wasn't warned. This cipher has a notorious past. Its promise drew out the worst in men. Untold amounts of gold hidden out there somewhere just beyond our grasp. And of course, there's the man himself, Thomas Beale. By any scholarly account, the man never even existed. Some would call him a thief, but in his day he was a true American entrepreneur, ruthless yet ingenious. They say he buried his fortune in the Virginia mountainside, the exact location inscribed in a letter that he entrusted to an innkeeper for safekeeping. But Beale never returned. Eventually, the innkeeper's curiosity would get the better of him, but what he found was bewildering. No instructions, no words, only numbers. The gold's location lay before him on those pages, hidden in plain sight, daring to be uncovered. Many men have since attempted to decrypt the Thomas Beale cipher, and over the years the fate of these men grew darker. Sickness, madness, murder. The most promising cryptographers would spend years in its grasp and walk away lesser men. And so the legend grew. I took it upon myself to solve this cipher and redeem my name. The cipher, concocted by the human mind to puzzle, to conceal, holds a truth. It was that which I sought, even if only to prove it a lie. After months of work, I received a phone call from my assistant in St. Louis. The last test string was working. I had to verify the results with the machine. But I was being watched. How much was I willing to risk? My name? My reputation? My life? gentlemen are very lucky. We don't usually stop at this. Hey, hey, mister, you can't just barge in like that. Apologies for Mr. Black. We are with the FBI, and we need to search this train. Thank you very much for the inconvenience. Yeah, <laughs> thanks. Damn G-men.
doesn't look like St. Louis. Why are we stopping? This isn't a scheduled stop. Shh. Maybe I'm wrong. Quiet. <clears throat> So what do we do now? Just sort of ask if they've seen the guy or something? Remember what Black talked about? You just keep your mouth shut and your eyes open. And stay out of Mr. Black's way. I'll handle the questions. This place makes me feel sick. I never like trains. Me neither. Excuse me, sir. We are looking for someone and we'd like to know if you've seen him. Yeah, you. I'm talking to you. Have you seen this man? Uh, I don't think he can see the photo with his head like that. see the prize and miss the pieces, but the clues are all around us, each holding a small bit of truth. And with the right twist and a little patience, everything falls into place. 